Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rain Dog coming at you from the now completed balcony of the very first apartment blocks of the Mole District. In the previous episode, we were working on the apartments that you see behind me. And in this episode, we just have a few more things to finish around here. And then we are going to be preparing ourselves for a return to Dogtown. Because, guys, we are going on a giant ass adventure to try and get as much gold as possible so that we can try and finish off the granny dog monument before the end of season two we've only got another five episodes to go before season three guys so we need to go on a end of season adventure to try and get as much gold as humanly freaking possible man and it is going to be freaking sweet we're going to go to Dogtown. we're going to venture beyond Dogtown, and who knows what we're going to find but guys let's quickly have a look at what i have done to the apartment blocks in the mole district as you can see they are now completed and i absolutely love this design it's got a sort of oriental feel to it which I really like but it, it also um, is very much in the style of Beatrice's house and a very good representation of what I wanted the mole district of mole city to look like and uh, as you can see guys um, I finished off the roof I finished off the lips I've added some awesome pot plants to the sides here I've added a nice little entrance hall over here um, glowstone to the top of the doors and the balconies and of course I finished off this sweet ass balcony I actually changed the blocks to stone bricks instead of cobblestone so that the balcony would stick out more and I think that really um, really helped it you know really helped make this balcony pop and uh, let's go upstairs to the second story apartment and you guys can see what that I've also added a balcony to this side and this is going to be a really sweet view I think what we'll do is take down all of these trees so that um, we can actually look all the way over the farmlands onto the horizon over there and of course the sun sets in that direction so you'll get a really epic sunset from this balcony talk about a romantic place man maybe I'll bring Beatrice over here one day for a for a sundowner you guys know what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm really happy with how the apartment block has turned out guys and uh, in the next probably only in season three actually we're going to get back to crafting in Mole City and what we're going to do is add the second apartment block over here it's going to be a couple of blocks lower than this apartment block so we're going to have a sort of staggered effect um, so that you know we, we're trying to make sure that everything isn't flat in Mole City we want to try keep to the contours of the natural geography and uh, it's going to you know have that sort of London terraced house look where the, this, these apartment blocks will be slightly lower um, and these apart the, the apartment blocks that we will build over here of course will be much lower so the roof will actually look like the roofs will look like uh, they're coming down in a gradient over here but guys what we need to do now is prepare ourselves for a return to Dogtown we are going to go on a three or four episode adventure and uh, of course what we need to do is stock up on vital materials including food and of course we need to repair all of our freaking weapons and whatnot what is Kraken Greg Good work, buddy. You are not trampling on the crops and you're looking after Beatrice. I am very happy with your work. Uh, where has Beatrice gone? Beatrice! Oh, goodness. Looks like she, she may have wandered off on the rail track somewhere. Oh, God. Beatrice, you, you butthole. Um, <laughs> who knows where she has gone, but I'm sure she's safe and sound. She's probably wandered around here to the back of the house. Um, hmm. Hmm. No, that is not where she's gone. Who? Beatrice! Damn it, woman! Oh, you... Where where the heck have you gone, Beatrice? The doors are open. Um, have you climbed up here? There you are. <laughs> okay. Whew, my heart almost stopped there. I almost lost you, man. I was worried about you. Don't, what are you doing up here? Hmm, I, I, I actually don't want to know. Um, I'm, I'm just going to leave you to... to I, I don't know what you're doing up there, man. Um, I'm just going to ignore you. But guys, um, for the last few hours, I have been grinding the butthole uh, furiously. And I got enough levels to repair Fang up to full. And uh, what we need to do now is repair Rambo up to full. Because, of course, we need our weapons to be firing at full blast. So there we go. Rambo is now going to be repaired up to full. Our weapons... I mean, Terra's only got a tiny little bit broken so we don't need to repair her uh, paw is basically completely repaired but what I did want to do well actually I mean what is it going to cost us to repair Terra 20 uh, levels to repair Terra so that's not going to happen um, Terra I'm happy with you being at that level but what I did want to do is repair this um, diamond helmet and I also wanted to add a, a new name to this diamond helmet so that we can have one step closer to completing the armor set of the dog so this one is going to be called Skullcap of the dog 
Sweet. Okay, sweet. So we are adding one more item um, to the armor set of the dog. Speaking of the armor set of the dog, we need to go and collect that bad boy, which is, I believe, in the cupboard uh, or in the chest in my bedroom. Let's have a look, man. Where is our armor set? There is the armor set. Um, Braceplate of the dog. Oh, you are kidding me. Oh, you are kidding me. Check it out, guys. Can you spot what I did? Oh, no. oh, the OCD is kicking in. Oh, my goodness. So you can see over here that um, I, I made it all capitals. Braceplate of the dog. And uh, over here, I've made it. I've, I've made not capitals on the F of ob and on the T of the. And guys, that is not cool. That is, man, that is going to kill my OCD. So unfortunately, the first thing that we're going to have to do when we get back from our Beyond Dogtown adventure is rename Skull Cap of the Dog uh, <laughs> to all caps instead of um, small letters. But guys, we're just going to have to deal with it for now. I know it's painful, guys. I can feel all the OCD around the world. I mean, there's at least 10,000 cyber dogs right now whose OCD is just going absolutely cray cray. And uh, guys, I am sorry, man. My freaking bad. Let me tell you, um, I am, I'm not happy with what has happened, but there's nothing we can do about it, guys. Um, but of course, if we want to go on a massive adventure, guys, we are going to need to stock up on some sweet ass food. We're going to need some more tater juice. No adventure will be complete without at least a stack of taters. You see, I don't actually eat the taters. I, I squeeze the, the, the tater juice up in my mouth. And uh, it's that tater juice that uh, mm, just drives me into freaking overdrive, man. There is nothing like a bit of tater juice to uh, <laughs> to repair one's health, guys. So let's head over to the tater fields over here. And let's get as many taters as we can get. And uh, we're going to have to head into the forge rooms and uh, and do a little bit of, of tater roasting. Um, before we head off on our adventure, but what I want to do is get a full stack of taters um, And that should be more than enough actually to sustain us. What we're also going to do is get some steaks um, No adventure, no red dog adventure anyway would be uh, complete without at least 10 steaks to help us along the way You know adventures are freaking painful experiences man And uh, I'm sure we're going to come across many times where we, we might possibly die at the hand of a freaking creeper and the only way that um, we can repair our souls as well as our bodies is with a juicy, delicious, tasty steak. You guys know what I'm saying, right? Um, right, I want to see if I have any... Do I have any wheat up in here? Um, no wheat. So what we're going to have to do, guys, is quickly do a bit of wheat harvesting. Because what I want to do is kill some of those cows. But um, I, I want to I make some little baby cows before I do that. So that we don't just myrtleize our cows and leave our cow, our cow fields completely empty. Um, so, you know, while there is going to be a, a little bit of loving going on in the cow, in the cow um, pen, there is also going to be a whole bunch of myrtleization. And uh, man, that is just the reality of being a farmer, I'm afraid. Cows, I hope you guys can forgive me for what is about to happen to you. But you've had a really good life. You've lived in these lush pastures of the farmlands. And, uh, you know, th this is an organic farm up in here, man. You know, our cows are treated really well. They are only fed with uh, organic grain, freshly harvested by my own hand, no less. We'll leave that uh, rotten tater up in there and uh, drop it for a seat. Is there anything interesting in here? Oh, there is a pot in here. That's pretty cool piece of glass man it's, it's ridiculous how how random stuff just happens to find its way into your into your chest in minecraft you guys know what i'm saying it's it's <laughs> you, you you open a chest that you haven't opened for a really long time and suddenly there's all this weird jazz in there um, <laughs> um it's one of the things i actually really like about minecraft actually so as we can hear the experience points are, are going cray cray and these cows are getting busy getting busy up in their pen and actually we might be able to get a few more levels we might be able to rename the skull cap of the dog uh, in this episode before we can head off to dog town um, but let's just get all these guys um, busy okay cool so why don't we make some steaks guys sorry guys but um, i'm going to use fang to make some steaks and uh sorry cows but i'm going to need your steaks up in my belly and uh give me your steaks come on baby mm. and all the little baby cows are like i've just been born and i love my mama you killed my mama you bastard sorry babies sorry baby cows you guys are so cute man i feel so bad about doing this but we have picked up 16 steaks. That's going to be perfect. I've also got uh, a few... Matt, what the heck? Where did, where did our taters go, man? I'm sure I picked up a, a stack of 64 taters. Oh, I think I planted them all again, right? Is that what happened? 
<laughs> okay. Well, hopefully we've got some taters in the in the storage rooms. Um, I'm pretty sure we do. Let me. I just want to make sure that I didn't drop off that, those that stack of taters. Yep, I did. And I also dropped off these baked taters too. Okay, sweet guys. So we have got 17 steaks. I'm happy with that. Uh, you know, steaks give you. I think it's four, three or four. Um, food uh, spaces so that's you know more than enough steaks and we're taking a stack of taters with us too so um, i'm happy with that so let's head back into the mole hole guys let's head into the storage rooms to make sure that we can uh stock up on the, the last remaining stuff that we need before we head over to Dogtown. i think what i want to do is quickly head up into the forge rooms to roast these these delicious taters and uh, while the taters are roasting we will um, head into the storage rooms to do the final preparations for our adventure i think what we'll do is just just use multiple um, multiple uh, furnaces over here to get this job done as quickly as humanly possible. Here we go, guys. Taters are roasting. Mm, damn, that smells tasty. Actually, we've got three levels now. So what we might be able to do is rename um, the skull cap of the dog properly. So let's give it a go. Um, if we want to rename this to skull cap of the dog. That's going to be 12 levels. Damn, son. That's uh, that's pretty crazy. 12 levels to rename that jazz? Man, um, that's just that's just ridiculous. Well, hopefully the butthole will fill up now. And uh, maybe um, once all the, the taters are cooked also, we'll be able to get a few more experience points from that. Maybe we can get to 12 before we head off. But it's it's highly unlikely. So, guys, we are in the storage rooms. Oh, there's a, I've got a couple of steaks to cook here also. Let's just check in the, in the meat chest if there's any more steaks to cook. Nope. Nothing left in the meat chest. Man, that, that meat chest must uh, be stanky. Damn. It's uh, uncooked meat in there for, for many, 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 many years. <laughs> um, that's just nasty, man. Well, I'm, I'm going to pretend that the, the chests in the storage room are refrigerated. And that Beatrice also sort of clean, cleans them out every now and then. Um, okay, so it looks like we've got a bit of wheat up in here. Let's just check if we have any edibles that we can take along with us. Do we have any melons left? No, it doesn't look like we have any melons, but we've got 44 melons. That, I mean, once we have our stack of 64 roasted taters, 17 steaks and 44 melons, that is more than enough, I think, uh, for our adventure. And uh, let's just have a look. So we've got our full set of, of uh, armor. We've got Terra with us. We've got Claw with us, our fortune pickaxe for, for diamonds that we find. We've got Paw with us that's going to dig through dirt and sand. We've got Fang that's going to help us deal with any, uh, you know, mobs slash creepers slash endermen. And uh, I, don't, I don't think we're going to take this diamond axe with us. We don't need it. And of course, we've got Rambo with a butt ton of arrows. We actually only need one arrow, but I'm just going to take a stack of 56 just in case we need some more. And um, what I want to do now, guys, is pick up some torches. Um, where are the torches? Where do I keep the torches? Um, well, I think what I'm going to do is pick up a stack of of sticks. Well, I mean, you know, what what we should do is is be is be kind of smart, right? Uh, well, firstly, if we want to be smart, what we definitely need to do is pick up the dogalog. We're definitely taking the dogalog with us. There is the dogalog. He is coming with us. Um, let's have a look. Is there? Yes, there is a crafting table in here. So we're going to take the crafting table with us. Although, you know what, guys? One of you guys made such an excellent suggestion to me um, regarding taking a whole bunch of jazz with us on an adventure. Um, what I do want to make sure that I take along. Oop! What the heck? My mouse just freaked out over there. I do want to take some dirt with me. So I'm just going to take one stack of dirt. But one of you guys said to me, you know, one of the best ways to, to preserve. Um, is the coal in here? Where do I keep the coal? One of the best uh, ways to re reserve space in your inventory when going on, a, on an adventure is to take stacks of stuff that you can turn into stuff, uh, if you guys know what I'm trying to say there. Um, so what I'm going to do, instead of taking a crafting table and a whole bunch of torches um, and you know all of that sort of stuff, what I'm going to do is take a stack of 64 wooden, uh, of 64 wood. I think I've got a stack of 64 spruce wood in the second story apartment over here. And I'm going to take a stack of coal and uh, that means that I will be able to turn this stack of spruce wood into planks, which I'll then be able to turn into sticks for um, torches. There we go. Okay, I've got a stack of 64 oak wood. That's even better. And uh, from this stack of oak wood, I can make boats, I can make crafting tables, I can make sticks, I can make everything that I need from this stack of oak wood. So as you guys can see, we have saved uh, a ton of spaces by doing this. And uh, what 
all, all I need to do now is pick up a compass and that'll take up the last space on our um, on our inventory line over here and that means that we have we have literally saved ourselves a butt ton of space um, for this adventure and I can't get over here okay there we go the reason this is blocked off by the way guys is because Beatrice goes wandering and uh, I do not want her to get killed by some random creeper or mob that she comes across on her adventure she basically just needs to stay in her attic um, you know and not actually do anything um, before the, the the mole city is 100% secured you guys know what I'm saying right uh, <laughs> right let's pick up our tailors guys we're gonna pick up uh, as many as we can put into that stack of 60 bow I don't think we're gonna take more than uh, 64 taters we don't actually need more than that and that is more than enough food I think and all we need now guys is a compass and then we are gonna be ready to travel to Dogtown for this very epic three or four episode adventure. Man, it is gonna be absolutely awesome. Cannot wait to get going. Um, I'm sure, oh wait, 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 wait. I think, I think it's in tools. Guys, you know, one of the things that I definitely wanna do in um, season three is make a storage room that is much better than this one. I want the storage room to be massive. Almost, I almost wanna give each item in Minecraft its own chest or each item that I use um, in Minecraft its own chest so that we don't have to be go, you know, we don't have to go digging through. Where the heck did you come from, dude? Where did you come from? How did he spawn? Hmm, let's check the secret entrance to the witch's cave. Oh, there we go. There is the problem. We've got mobs spawning up in the witch's cave, man. This is not good because this actually means um, mobs could actually get to Beatrice. So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna wall off the witch's cave for now um, until we get back because I do not want Beatrice dying. And we've got another skeleton in here, man. Take it. Where did he come from? I guess he just spawned in here. Um, so it looks like what we're going to have to do for the safety of Beatrice, the butler. Um, you know, she is, after all, a lady. And there's going to be no one here but Greg, the Iron Golem, to protect her. And I'm just really worried about her, man. So I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to wall off these areas and make, to make sure that she's going to be 100% safe at all times. Beatrice. I'm coming to say goodbye to you now, don't worry. I can hear, she's crying, man. She's like, no, Randa, don't leave me here alone with Greg. He stinks. <laughs> he writes me inappropriate love letters. <laughs> Greg's a bit of a dodgy guy. Um, <laughs> right, let's let, let's stock, let's stack our, um, our dirt again. And I want to pick up, if I've got a sword or, or, or an axe in here, I don't want to waste uh, my, my weapons over here. See, what have, have we got enough here to take us to level 12? Definitely not. All right, guys, we are ready to go on our last adventure of season two. Just going to drop off this stuff. We've got the doggo log ready to work. Is this the, is this the working doggo log or is this, the, is this the one that doesn't work? Uh, let's have a look. Page, oh, okay, so this is the broken doggo log. I think the, the, the real doggo log is in my bedroom. You know, I think this is going to be the first adventure that we ever go on that I'm absolutely 100% prepared and haven't left anything out, <laughs> which is some sort of a freaking miracle. Um, let's drop that dog log off in there. Where is the other dog log? Dog log, where are you? Hmm. I, you know, I may have left it at the dogolith. Hmm. Right, let's head back into the storage rooms. I, I, I suspect that it may be at the Dogolith, or it's either at the Dogolith or in here. Um, nope, it ain't there. There's our bling bling. All right, it looks like I may have left the Dogolog at the, uh, <laughs> at the Dogolith, guys. So I'm going to quickly go have a look, and I will bring you back on the other side of this Kaplam. Oh my goodness, guys. We're going on an adventure. I'm so excited. Kaplam. All right, cyber diggity dogs, we are back in Beatrice's house, and uh, I don't want to alarm you, but I found the dogalog in one of Beatrice's chests, man. Check it out, there it is. And uh, that means that uh, <laughs> Beatrice has been reading the dogalog, and uh, she's been spending a whole bunch of time up there, and uh, I'm not entirely sure what you are up to, lady, but um, it's, I'm kind of nervous to leave you alone here with the cyber dogs. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying, man? Uh, I'm just gonna leave now. Guys, Beatrice kind of freaks me out. Seriously. <laughs> Greg, Greg. Dude, 
If Beatrice does anything cray cray, you let me know, right? <laughs> you actually nodded. That was awesome. All right, doggies. Goodbye, pack. Goodbye. And goodbye, Paloma Kitty. I'm going to miss you guys so much. Make sure that you look after this freaking place, man. Greg can't do all the work by himself. He is a golem and he doesn't sleep. But guys, you got to protect the freaking... You got to protect the moho, okay? You guys have all got to protect the moho. All of you, I'm going to miss you all. Come and say... Come and say goodbye to me, everybody. Come and say goodbye. Come and say goodbye. Come, little doggies. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. <laughs> Man, they haven't moved in days. They're like, oh, my legs. My legs are, are, are feeling so stiff. All right, let's let's uh, get everybody uh, seated again. All right, doggies. I, I'm really sad to leave you. Um, Man, check how happy they are wandering around the fields. But you guys are going to need to sit down um, and stop wandering around. Greg is out here too. No, dog. Naughty. Nugget. Get back to your kennel. <laughs> she was ready to go, man. She was like, I'm out of here, freedom. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. So let's do one final check of our inventory. We've got Terra. We've got Claw. We've got Paw. We've got Fang. Rambo is up in there. We've got the Dogolith. We've got our compass. We've got taters, steaks, melons. We've got oak wood. We have got dirt. We've got our coal so that we can make more... Um, We've torches and of course we've got arrows for Rambo and now we have a butt ton of open slots to get as much gold as much diamond and as much resources as we possibly can uh, so that we can start season three absolutely jam-packed with goodness guys and uh, man ooh, the butthole is uh, completely packed so I think what I'm gonna do guys is do one final clear out of the butthole before we go on our adventure and um, Let's see if we can get to level 12 actually so that we can uh, put our OCD to rest um, and fix the skull cap of the dog, and, you know, to fix that problem because that is actually going to drive me great, great. Um, so we're on level 9. Oh my goodness, that is, that is just, that is, that is just, ooh. Level 10? Sweet. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what, guys. I'm actually just going to wait for the next couple of minutes um, until we hit level 12. Then we're going to finish off naming the skull cap of the dog correctly. And then we are getting our buttholes over to dog town. I'll see you on the other side of this. Kaplam! Kaplam! All right, cyber dogs. I am back in Grand Mole Hole Station and I am packed and ready to head to dog town. I got uh, 12 levels out of the mob spawner, enough to rename the skull cap of the dog to skull cap of the dog, but with capital letters. So we can put all of our OCD to rest. But guys, this is going to be the final adventure of season two. It's going to be a long one. I hope you guys are ready, man. I hope you got your popcorn. I hope you got your Coke. I hope you are prepared for a long ass and extremely dangerous adventure. And the next time we come back to the mole hole, we're going to come back with a butt ton of diamonds and gold. And it is going to be freaking sweet. And guys, on the other side of this, this adventure is going to be season three. Can you freaking believe it. I cannot believe it guys but uh, I cannot even wait to get there and I cannot even wait to start this epic adventure thank you so much for watching this episode guys if you have enjoyed it you know what to do man you smack that like button and if you are new from somewhere on the internet welcome to the Ren Dog channel welcome to this epic adventure it is going to be sweet hit that subscribe button to make sure you do not miss any of the action guys I will see you in the next episode where we will be in Dogtown and where we will be heading beyond Dogtown in search of adventure and loot. This has been Rendog playing Minecraft Survival. See you in the next episode, my friends. Goodbye.